This is the Hyundai Ionic that will take us to Spain. Are you ready? Power, Can you use autopilot in the Hyundai Ionic? Hugo is not convinced. Shell recharge six times nobody. There is a cone now, e Nero charging over there, and nobody at Fastnet. I said nobody, I was lying. Plugged in. Plugged in at Fastnet. ABB taking its time to show us what's up. Ah, oh, you didn't send the E Nero. Dutch Mustang is leaving. He just charged. It's gonna be full this summer. Be aware that this spot will be super busy. And the ID4 has been charging here for 40 minutes. The reality is and with this vehicle, it's very tight. Connected. Let's start the session. ID4 has been charging here for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Owner is not in sight. Toilet break time. Oh, charging is finished even. This is horrible. I didn't even notice. Maybe they are set to stop at 90%. I don't know. Seventy some toilet break. But they're clean, at least. Anybody some... Uh, Belgian shirts. The ID4 is still there. Probably has been blocking the charger for over an hour. And we, what will our status be? Belgian ID4. Five kilowatt hours in five minutes. Ah, here's the throttle, Hugo. Yeah, 55 kilowatt, we can go. State of charge in the BMS, 74. In the display, 77. Sound installation works. I love the details like this. There's machine one and two on the left, and there's machine one on the right. So, it's probably meant to help somebody, but who is it helping? It's working though. The drop is here. 78% or 75% in the BMS, whatever you like to believe.
elect. Ooh, there's a Tesla over here. Two Delta Chargers. Took a long time for the charging cart to get accepted. I love all these buttons. As you can see, they have a liquid cooled plug on the right and the old fashioned on the left. 100 or 150 kilowatts. The weather is horrendous. Zero emission though. Is Tesla charging up here. And at 77% we still got 66 kilowatts. I just tried my fresh mile badge, Pavalide. Let's try my Verta badge. Sometimes works in France. Takes a long time. I don't know why our charging session stopped. Uh, we weren't even charging for one minute. Pavalide. Okay, let's try new motion. New motion. Does it work? Does new motion work here? Just south of Lille. It is very slow in uh, checking your card. Very slow. And when I say very slow, I mean slower than very slow. Crazy. Wow, this is so slow. But it's preparing again. Is it still charging? Yes. But at puissance, that cannot be right. How would it be 67 at 80 percent? I don't think that's correct. That is interesting. The throttle is kicking in way later than before. We're already at above 80% if we would believe the screen of the vehicle. It's 78-79% BMS. Ah, here's the drop. Yeah, yeah, there's the throttle. Okay, seen enough. See you at the next one. So you can see our consumption was around 100 watt hours per kilometer. You can see the BMS says we still have 6% while the car says 4.5 to us. 5 kilometers to go. People asked if I would film the arrival at Longueuil, and here we are. The Enercon chargers are just one kilometer away. Power limited. We are in turtle mode, but the reality is we still got four percent, three and a half. Car says two. Reality is three and a half, but we are nearly empty. It is true. Only 700 meters to go. Leaving the paid highway. And right after the toll, there will be our charger. Have you seen our flowers? Oh, there are people charging, but there's also somebody not charging. Oh, and the entrance is blocked by the truck. Oh, 
it's Dutch people. A lot of O's here. Three and a half percent. Free charging. Oh. Oh. Got the wrong one. Charge of fat. So people are telling us this charger is not working. But is it also not working if Electric Felix is here? Let's find out. It's a bit sad that we arrived with just 3% left because that means we have nowhere to go. Uh, and this e-tron will have a lot of charging to do. It's nice that the charge is free, but if it's not working, then that's not good news for us. So yeah, this is the risk in France. And I've never been at this charger, so why did I think it was a good idea to arrive empty here? Um, yeah, this will definitely... This is not looking good. I tried the Fresh Mile app. And the app is connected to the charger, but it's still absolutely not working. So only one of these chargers is working, which is really just not nearly enough. And we have no energy left, so we've got nowhere to go. There is type 2 here, so we can connect to this one for fun. Hugo, let's connect to this one. Let's try it out. The Audi A ah, is charging at 147, that's okay. And when you think that at this fresh mile charger, you can just use your fresh mile badge to do some type 2 charging. Access denied. No type 2 for us. We have to wait for the Audi to finish. Luckily, it is going fast, but they have a big battery, so we still need to wait a long time. So this is the actual charger, the delivery is over there, but of course the actual charger is over here. As you can see it can do 920 volts, but I wonder, yeah, we need to bring the Yonic 5 to find out what it actually manages. What is this house? Ah, this is the transformation, so yeah. Energy comes from here and the charger is this. Oh, quite serious. It's way higher than the, the house that they built in Hanover for the chargers, where there are way more chargers. The house is actually smaller. It is half, half this height. So what is there to be sad about? I guess that the commercial is so much prettier than the reality. Because that road show is such a beautiful station. And then look what they build in reality. And the green light here, this green light, should be red because it's broken. From 2 or 1% depends who you ask in 13 minutes to half full. So how do we stop this? That was easy. A lot of press on the cable so you can only turn it one way. Time. 
to go south. charger is not broken that is what we have to find out a dutch mustang 60 kilowatts and a dutch mustang just arrived let's see how many charges are working so the truth is that this high power charger is out of order this one is also out of order ours is working 60 kilowatt speeds and the Mustang is gonna try the other one let's see let me show you the station so there's actual competition because this Vinci charging seems to be working one machine it seems to even accept credit cards Nine and a half. The Mustang is figuring it out. And we are actually protected from rain. I'm now in the rain. And now, not anymore. So the 50 kilowatt machine is also working. And this high power charger is also working it is charging faster than we are but not very fast but the two other machines over here are not working can you hear the sound of the rain while well, we're protected under the roof solar canopy is it the solar canopy no here it's not or at least it doesn't seem to be I don't see any wiring well, maybe it is. I don't know. This is what you get for trying out stuff that you don't know. Brand new 50 kilowatt chargers. Two pieces of them. And obviously one of them is broken because we're in France. Welcome to the country where maintenance is an issue. The Tesla is making space, so we will be able to charge soon. Coming in hot, Hugo, with the Dutch Ionic. Everybody wants to move at the same time, of course. What is going on here? It's just hard to believe. Hugo's over there. Okay, Tesla departure. Oof. scary stuff happening let's boot this charger up is it working it is working my EZVIA badge works good speed on to our next stop did you notice the great interface showing 
time to 80% and time to 100% even though I don't know if it's true this vehicle cannot even charge to 100 Gar de Fierzon. And over here, the 22 kilowatt charger. Only one slot because the other one is the 3C connection or Shuko. Twizzy! The Ibis Styles in Bourges. Is it just plug and play? Aha! Uh -huh. We have to talk to the reception. Do I have to turn it on? You had to negotiate and now we're charging. So for electric cars, the charge is 10 euros, mm -hmm. but for hybrids, the charge is 5 euros. So we have a Hyundai Ionic Hybrid. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. In three hours, it will be fully charged will be asleep. What do you say? We drove maybe 20 minutes and we're already Heading to our first Ionity, yeah. Tactical charging, people, tactical charging. 142 on the go. It's right behind this building. Centre de la France. Crowded already. As you can see, the summer crowd is already getting started. Dude! Jesus! <laughs> and here's the sign. Look at this. Close from each other. Préparation de la charge. Good morning and welcome to Ionity. Look at this, where this is a charging station that delivers power to both sides of the highway. Well, we are in direction south, and these chargers are for the people heading north. Will be interesting to see what will happen here in summer because clearly in July this side will be super busy. And then I expect this side to be super busy in August on the way back. But yeah, who am I to judge? I don't know. They really... I like this installation. I mean, I've never seen this many Ionity chargers next to each other. Uh, yeah. So that is something. Ionity Centre de la France. This is the biggest Ionity station I have ever seen. As you can see, it is not accessible for everybody from both sides. What I mean is the traffic streams are separated because we're on a toll road in France. So here is where the people from the south can charge. And we are coming from the north, from Bourges, heading to Clermont-Ferrand, and we can charge over here. I am impressed by the installation. I wonder though about future scalability, because in a couple of years, how is this going to work out? And how much better would it be if traffic streams could be split? 
you gotta wonder but at least there's a triple charger for everybody over there and there's it seems only working chargers on all sides let's see how our charging session is going still getting 41 kilowatts we just need to charge to make it to the next ionity charger that is beyond clermont ferrand that is more than 160 170 kilometers and with the hyundai ionic with only a 28 kilowatt hour battery we need some extra electrons so what would you do it's 155 kilometers to the next ionity station and we are at 86 percent would you charge to 94 or would you go hypermiting wind is not an issue today as you can see 59 kilometers to ionity 64 kilometers on the go <laughs> exciting remember these machines yes because Corridor had these machines all over France and then they turned them all off because of a software issue software issue well but Total has these crazy loud machines fully functional it's only one but it's gonna help us cross the mountains because our consumption is just a bit too high to make it to Ionity in one go. Wow, this loud beep. You know it from Effa Check, right? So I just checked EV Notify and the machine, it started making less noise now and it's only giving 25 kilowatts. 600 meters to go. Here is the Vade, the next Ionity pit stop ahead of us. Uh huh. Can you see? So we immediately had to switch chargers. Hugo already used the word. No, I'm not gonna repeat it because this charger is au service. Yes, Ionity. That is already one less than we want of these brand new ABB chargers. This one seems to be working. And this one also seems to be working. So it's one out of four that is not working today and we're charging up 60 kilowatt starting speed departure at 60 kilowatt Hugo. so as you can see we moved up a spot and you know why because the charger stopped not once but twice so once i will retry the charger but the first stop was after eight minutes and then this charger number two stopped after less than one or two minutes of charging so now we're trying out machine number five which seems to be working okay but for how long um now as soon as long as we are charging i obviously don't mind that much but if you're having lunch it is really uncool if the charger stops and with a vehicle like the ionic there's no way to find out unless you stay with the vehicle which is also not that great oh, 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 oh. will it be a long day who knows this charging session seems fine though because after eight minutes i have to take off my sunglasses so sort of 20 minutes in total we're back at 75 percent
So this is the third Ionity today and I don't have much good news because that charger behind Hugo is completely powered off. Luckily this one seems to be working and both of these chargers have no response whatsoever. They're just in a loop. They ask for payment and when I show them my card nothing happens. So effectively one high power charger here at Ionity Lagarde. Uh, well, as you can see one is enough and you can see the Tesla stalls. And the funny detail is that on the, on the other side of the highway it is, um, well I forgot the name of the air now, oh yeah, Air de la Lozère. And at that spot there is an old corridor charger and we found an ID4 and a Zoe there. And look at this, here's an electric E208, but it seems to be headed elsewhere. Mm, so yeah, weird stuff going on. I'm happy that we're charging. See you on the other side. Yeah, throttling, the battery is too hot. So we're not sure what's going on. The car is charging at 31, 32 kilowatts. And it might be the charger. It also stopped charging again, which is not the first time today. And it's all these new ABB chargers, so hard to trust them. This one on the left here is powered off, did I show you? I can show you, completely powered off, and the others all have software issues, so they don't, they don't want to start because I show them my badge and it doesn't work. It beeps and there's no response. The Tesla that was charging here is gone. We are gonna go to the next Ionity station, 110 kilometers from here. We're gonna do it speedy. We're gonna cook this battery and see what happens. Stop. This is the ID4 that was charging on the soda trail charger at the last stop where we had the only working Ionity station and now they're here as well. They have a way bigger battery than we. They're surviving. They didn't know about the other Ionity, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if this worked. Charger, at least charge map thinks so, but there's no documentation about it, no photo, no nothing. So, if it's really true or not, we're gonna find out together. This doesn't look very promising, not a sign in sight. I don't think we're getting lucky today. Welcome to the south of France. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Where a 150 kilowatt charger has to feed a Swedish e-tron, beautiful red, a white Kona from over here probably, and us. Uh, yeah, that's clearly not going to work. Let's find alternatives. By the way, because this is the worst CCS cable I've ever seen. I don't know. You can try. We will move away. It's not McDonald's, that Burger King where the chargers are. 
Let's get some 24 kilowatt DC power in here. So I found my Verta badge and it is communicating. Let's see. Let's see. I hear something. There's a car now over here as well. Enjoying the Burger King charge. Let's grab some burgers. Oh no. Error connecting to power unit. Oh. My Verta badge. Communicating one more time. Oh no, the same error. But I've had this before, so we're gonna keep trying. So be warned, these keywatt chargers, these plugs, they look the same like every other plug, but they're not the same. So keep pushing them to your vehicle because they have a very typical way of starting the charge. Keep pushing till it starts. Two years ago, Hugo and I were here together and I never ever expected to be back at the same charger that still is supposed to be free. I keep forgetting the manual unlock. Uh, maybe I am a bit far away from the machine. No, I just need to Got the whole cable, it has a pretty long cable. Don't throw around your cables, people. Don't be like me. So. Pre-charge. Good sign. Charge en cours. Well. And now we can check EV notify to see what's up. It says 43 minutes. And over here, what do we get? Oh, only 30 kilowatts, but it's free. So this is the old installation that gives 30 kilowatts. I think Hugo is checking how much has been delivered over the years. And behind the station, there's a new washing setup over there. Hugo saw the construction site two years ago and now they're done. But here Total has to paid new bonus a triple charger and a high power charger and this looks like a serious plug this is funny that is that is not uh, that is not the plug that I recognize from their other locations but maybe I'm confused confused who speaks catalan escoja la toma plaza disponible yeah okay yeah Electron map should work here. Ah, Esperando la artificial. Yeah, that was here, there, not This is new. Uh huh. I think it's starting. 
Oh yes, it's set cargando. Ta da! Forty three kilowatts. Remaining time. Twenty eight minutes. Thirty six percent in the battery. Welcome to España. Welcome to Catalonia. Next to the trucks, there's free fast charging. Oh well, so I heard. They might bill me later. Who knows? Used my uh, Electro Maps badge. Yeah, they think why am I filming? Well, I'm filming to show this beautiful station. There's even a supermarket and a lot of trucks. <laughs> 